All right, welcome to writing. We are working on poetry this week. So the first type of poem that we are working on, well, honestly, we've already worked on two a little bit. Who can remember one type of poem we've already practiced this year? Cadence? Uh, the, okay, the concrete poem. That's where you write your poem in the shape of what you're talking about. We all tried a few of those this year. Josiah? Acrostic, okay, acrostic. That's when you have the word down the side and you write other words or phrases off of it. So we worked on that with our name earlier this week. Noah? 575. Okay, yesterday I barely a little bit brought up the 575 poem, okay? So we're going to work on that today. That's the haiku poem. Okay, all right. You're Hayden, I know that. Hayden? Mm, we learned, um, we, you showed us few of the poems. Mm -hmm. well, we haven't worked on them yet, right? Okay, yeah. so yesterday I showed you all the types we're going to learn. So today is haiku day. All right, so haiku is spelled like that. Okay, right now you don't need to take notes unless you want to. Haiku. All right, does anyone remember what country I said this type of poem came from? Josiah? Japan. Came from Japan. So I'm going to write that up here just so we know because I think it's cool to know. So the Japanese culture was the culture that started writing haikus. And someone already said it's a 575 poem. What does that mean? 575. Dylan? Okay, good. So I'm just going to write that. Oh, I have a marker. So the first line, line one, we can call it, is five syllables. All right, and we remember what syllables are, right? We practiced yesterday. I don't want everyone to start doing it again, okay? But for those of you at home, like the syllables in my name would be Mrs. Hair, three, okay? So we're back to syllables like when you were younger. If I'm thinking of the word haiku, haiku, two syllables. So the first line of a haiku has to have five. You can't have four, you can't have 10, you can't have anything but five, okay? Second line of a haiku, has, oh, I about wrote the wrong number, seven syllables, All right? Not six, not 12, not 100, seven. Eric? Is there a such thing as a chipmunk poem? You can write that topic into any poem you want. All right, so last line is line three. Line three, we're back to five syllables. All right, other than this, there are no rules, okay? No rules. You don't have to use punctuation. You don't really have to do anything except follow the 575 format. So after I take Angie's question in a second, I'm going to show you some examples of haikus just so you get a better idea what they might look like, okay? Angie. I'm a little confused because, like, how, how can you manage to, to have five syllables and then a seven? Well, we're going to practice. That's why I'm going to show you examples next, and then we're going to practice, okay? So I'm going to move this to the side. And I know this is hard to read, so I'm going to read it aloud to you. Okay, this first one is called The Old Pond. And before I start reading, I need everyone in here to be respectfully quiet. Okay, we're wrestling with things on our desks. Up and down. Okay. The Old Pond by uh, <coughs> Matsuo Basho. Okay, now here it goes. So you count the syllables in line one. Make sure there's five. Okay, an old silent pond, an old silent pond, five, okay, they didn't mess up. A frog jumps into the pond, a frog jumps into the pond, seven. Splash, silence again, splash, silence again, five, okay. So they did do five, seven, five. All right, now let's check out this one. This one's called A World of Dew by... Kabayashi Aisa, a world of do, wait, I didn't do that right, a world of, a world of do, and within every do drop, a world of struggle, they, they messed this first line up, that's not right, a world of do, why is that one wrong, Zoe? 
It only has four syllables. Even if I tried to do world as two, well, they didn't do it that way in the bottom line. So, Kobayashi messed up. All right, let's check another one. Last one. All right, it's called Over the Wintery by Natsume. I don't know how to pronounce that word because I don't know what that means. Okay. Over the Wintry. Over the Wintry, right? Five. Forest winds howl in rage. Forest winds howl in rage. Forest winds howl in rage. See, some of these aren't quite right. That with no leaves to blow. With no leaves to blow. Five. So, 575, five, even though some of these examples weren't five, quite right. Six, five. Okay? 575. Five. So, today we're going to try to write one together a little bit, just so you can kind of see. And then tomorrow, we're going to keep trying to work on our own haiku. So, you're all helping me today come up with something. So, first, we need kind of a topic. Poems have to have something we're talking about. And it should be broad enough that everybody can contribute. Emma, what are you thinking? The moon. Ooh, I like that. Okay, the moon. We've learned about the moon this year. So I'm going to write the moon. Okay. Now, we need five-syllable line. Well, let's just see how long saying the moon takes. The moon is two. So we need three more syllables to create a line for our first line about the moon. Any ideas? Hmm. Abby? She forgets. Josiah? It looks like it changes. It looks like it changes. Close. Close. Cadence? It is bright. It is bright. Well, the moon is bright. That's four. We're getting closer. Hayden? The moon is very bright. The moon is very bright. Very had two syllables. So now we're two, we're over. Chloe? The moon is very shiny. The moon is very shiny. That could be our middle line. Do we want that to be our yes. seven syllable yes. line? Yes. Perfect. So that's in the middle. So we have line one, we don't know yet. Line two, this marker's not working. Oh, man. Did he die already? Oh. Looks like that one just had a <laughs> <laughs> the moon is very shiny. Is that what you said? Yep. The moon is very shiny. All right, so we need line one and three still. So line one needs five syllables. Noah? The moon is very white. Is that going to be seven again? Nope, it's six. The moon is very white. We need five. We need five. Eric? That's too short. Josiah? The wolves howl at the moon. Wolves howl at the moon. Ooh. Good. You guys like that? Yes. All right. Wolves howl at the moon. Ooh. Nice job, Josiah. That's a good line. Mm -hmm. Wolves howl at the moon. The moon is very shiny. All right, we need a five-syllable wrap-up on our poem. Hudson, you have an idea? Um, wolves howl for fun. Yeah. Wolves howl for fun. That'd be four. Close. <laughs> Chloe, I don't think I've picked you yet. Chloe? Oh, yeah, you came up with that other line. Noah? The moon creates waves. The moon creates waves. That would work. Or we could say tides, right? We know the moon creates tides. Uh, Eric? Uh, the moon creates you guys like that one? The moon creates tides. That'll work. Okay. Shh. Voice is off. So, we just made our first haiku. Okay? So, as long as you follow the 575, five, the hardest part about it is just figuring out a sentence that has the correct number of syllables. So, you kind of keep guessing and checking and guessing and checking and you'll come up with an idea. Okay, any questions about how to write a haiku? Eric. How much syllables does 
you can figure that out yourself. Okay? Shh. Serious questions only right now. Shh. Zoe? Is it it does need to make sense. So whatever topic you're talking about, like this one is all about the moon, right? So as long as you write something that is all about a similar topic, you'll be good. Emma? Um, if you can't figure out something, can you use the dictionary? Yep, you can use the dictionary to help yourself think of words, okay? But really it's just trying something, guessing and checking, guessing and checking, and you can all do that, okay? All right, friends at home, I will see you later. Okay.